Beast Walker's active, and its self-defense system is targeting you, Snake. You better find a way to stop it quick! Be careful, Snake. I have no advice on dealing with El Basilisco's attacks, but you may be able to use its size against it. Its movements will probably be just as big, meaning it should give some kind of warning before most of its attacks. That's true. It might be good to start out by studying its movements, watching what it does before each attack. That should help you avoid most of them. And weapons that walk always have one guaranteed weakness. The legs. Right. Destroy its legs and you'll stop it from moving. You might even be able to knock it on its back if you're lucky. Just make sure you are out of the way first. Peace Walker contains an assembly of two AI pods. One of them is the mammal pod, which Dr. Strangelove developed. The other is the reptile pod, which is mine. What's the difference? The reptile pod is the attitude control AI. If it's destroyed, Peace Walker grinds to a halt. The mammal pod is responsible for making the decisions regarding nuclear retaliation, reflex, and thought. One is the brainstem and cerebellum, the other the cerebrum. So, the one that houses the will of the boss would be the mammal pod. We call it the reptile pod for a reason. The parts of our brains that govern basic life and reflex developed ages ago, when our ancestors were still reptiles. We were reptiles? Well, only at one stage of our evolution. The theory was proposed by the neuroscientist Paul McLean. Huh. The reptile brain corresponds to the brainstem and basal ganglia in our brain. The reptile pod also incorporates the functions of the cerebellum. So basically, it's the deep parts of the brain. Dr. Strangelove came up with the name. The part of our brain that developed after we became mammals is responsible for high-level brain functions. Such as? Such as intelligence, judgment, even love. That's high level, all right. Location-wise, the mammal brain is on the outside of the reptile brain. The cerebral cortex is part of it. I think it's very telling that Dr. Strangelove named her pod Mammal. It's almost like she wants it to be more than just an advanced AI. What she really wants is for it to have a mind of its own.
terrain is 25 miles an hour. Come on, I bet you can do at least 30. Haas is on board the Hind 2. I noticed that. She's our client. We have to protect her. Snake, don't let Peace Walker get away! The day is dawning. Walker's gone. They've got Paz, too. Yeah, but... Why, Kaz? What would Coleman want with Paz? Paz was with the Professor, i.e. the KGB. Once Coleman discovered that, he figured out what was really going on between Paz and Galvez. He's trying to figure out how the KGB planned to stop Peace Walker. And he thinks he can get the info from Paz. That's crazy. Paz won't know anything. Well, he probably doesn't buy that. You think Galvez has already been killed? By grabbing Paz, Coldman's saying... Stay out of this, or lose your client. Damn it! I can't believe we didn't realize what was going on before we lost contact with Paz. Don't have time for that, Kaz. Snake! Paz needs our help. Right. This isn't about money anymore. You better move. We know where they're headed. Yeah. You can thank Amanda. Snake, that river you chased the Basilisco across is the Rio San Juan. The other side is our country. I had some Nicaraguan compas track it there. They're focus from the GPP faction, so we don't work together so much. Where'd it go? 
west, along the border, towards Lago Cosibolca. There's a U.S. military supply base on the southeastern shore of the lake. Ever since that earthquake two years ago, America's had the entire region to itself. That is where the Basilisco is. I'm sure of it. Lago Cosibolca. How do I get across the border? There is a route that we use to cross. It's just a little boat, but I can introduce you to the captain. Mm. I appreciate it. We will never leave Nicaragua at the mercy of someone like William Walker again. Snake, Coleman's going to launch the nuke from that base. He's targeting MSF. Based on what Huey's told us, it'll take two more days to prep for launch. But it looks like there's another reason they picked that date. What's that? Tomorrow is day one of a U.S.-Soviet summit in Vladivostok. The launch is probably connected somehow. That's right. They're holding the SALT-2 talks. You think Coleman's trying to disrupt the negotiations? <sighs> Either that, or use it as a bargaining chip. He's still got POS, too. At any rate, we're running out of time. I'll figure something out.